and greetings. My name is Van Carson. I work with the YMCA Focus on Fathers Initiative. I'm the coordinator and the facilitator. Um, I've been working with the Y for five years as an employee. Um, one of the things that uh, interests me the most was uh, we had the opportunity to assist and aid individuals who were behind on their child support and um, did not have 100% skills to gain employment. And we also was working with individuals who were recently released out of the incarcerated community. Uh, my background is human services and Christian as a ministry. Um, and I wanted to do all I can to help the community um, grow and individuals uh, who looked like me uh, do better to serve their family and to take care of themselves. One of the things that I've learned uh, working with a lot of um, the individuals who came and engaged and enrolled with Focus on Fathers Initiative that they didn't really realize that child support was more than just the financial part. Um, it was more intellectual development, emotional development, responsibility, independency. And when they had the opportunity to learn this under the curriculum of Focus on Fathers, they engage more with their children. One of the things that was so exciting from the time that I had the opportunity to work with other entities and other agencies in the community, um, such as uh, the Children First Program, um, First Choice Pre-Apprenticeship, uh, Elevate uh, Curriculum, and other programs like Child Protective Service. Um, all these different programs work with individuals who are struggling and who have uh, reoccurring episodes and dilemmas in the community just like what Focus on Fathers engage in and help teach. It, it starts off as a 13-week curriculum um, and the classes are two and a half hours. Um, we call it Nurturing Fathers. Now there's another component um, during that course uh, we work in and it's job readiness, interviewing. Uh, we also implement uh, financial stability. We had an individual who uh, came to the program about two years ago and he was sent uh, and referred to our program uh, by Department of Correction. That's how I met this gentleman. When I, when I met him, he was on probation and parole uh, he had lost both of his children and one of the goals that we were going to do is work to allow him to do what he needed to do for his own desire and, and it worked out. Today he has a great relationship with this fiance and he has both of his children in his custody. The percentage that I've learned just working with individuals, let's just say from a 1% to 100%. The percent of the turnout has been at least 82% of individuals who have gained wellness, who have gained employment, who have opened up bank accounts, who are no longer couch surfing, but have stable housing as well as stable employment. My thing is, there's not a lot of programs like Focus on Fathers Initiative. We have a great entity and working ability to nurture supervised visitations for parents. We have collaborated with Child Protective Service here in Racing County, whereas there's an exchange of children from one parent to the other. And Focus on Fathers Initiative staff have the opportunity to engage and supervise that. We uh, watch over while the parents interact. Um, we turn in data and information to the court system. Um, we are definitely father friendly and it has been working. 
um, to resolve issues in the community, whereas parenting um, don't work for individuals, we help them to make it work. One other thing that I would like to include is a shout out to the YMCA board members, um, to the funders, uh, particularly the county and United Way. I also would like to give a shout out to uh, agencies and entities that assist and aid Focus on Fathers Initiative to the community, to, to everyone that collaborates with us. God bless you.